Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to go over a few things uh, that I'm trying to sell and uh, raise some money. Uh, I'm going to be building some steel trusses pretty soon and uh, the cost of steel is kind of crazy. Trying to raise some money so I can get that next building started. Uh, what I have here right now is a Sioux um, valve seat grinding motor here. This one works fine and it comes with the grinder. There is the uh, wheel dresser. Oop, wheel in there. There's the wheel dresser. That's complete. Um, it's got a good, a good uh, diamond in there. The diamond is still fine in there. And I've got three stone holders. There's your assorted bounce springs. That's just a box of um, cutters. Some look pretty good shape. Uh, they could be ground. And I've got a whole mess of different valve guide arbors there. So um, some of them are starting to get. They're discolored. They're not. Uh, they'll still fit in the valve guide good. There's. It's like a little grease or junk on there. They're not. They're not rusted. They're just a little discolored. They got a, a, a little bit of. Uh, I don't know. Might be mold at this point. It's been such a wet summer. But uh, there's a whole mess of them there. Uh, everything here. If anybody's interested in a valve grinder, uh, this is a good unit, and it will do you pretty well. So we're gonna keep moving on. I've got a few things that I'd like to get out of the shop. And, uh, and, and like I said, raise some money to, uh, to buy some steel for those trusses. So let's keep moving on. Okay guys, just pulling some uh, sheet metal parts down, new old stock stuff. Uh, as you can see, new old stock CJ2A, 3A, I think it'll fit 3B. It's got uh, the tail light panel on it. It's got the mount on it down there. It's got the gas filler neck in it right there. It has the double lip in here. It is new old stock. And it is my uh, my last one of these. This is the driver's side. Um, I know most of you guys are probably happy with the SGI stuff. I know I am, but there's got to be one person out there who wants an American body and not an Indian body. And if you do, your chance to get a new old stock panel. Okay guys, we're up in the uh, in a wood shop here. Uh, as you can see, I've been busy. I haven't even cleaned the floor yet. I've got a ton of lumber here. This is all going to be the trim for my house. I've got to get busy on that. Um, this is still a, quite a disaster up here, uh, but I am working up here and it's a real, it's a real pain because there's not much room. I've got a lot of stuff that still needs to be done for the house. There's just there's stuff everywhere. Um, so we want to get. I'm trying to clean this up in the fall. I really want to have this place, you know, looking good, so I could do some trim work. Uh, this is custom milling for the, the house trim. Uh, this a lot of stuff is going. So there is a small tile saw. I just put a new blade in it. it it's a it's a little guy. Uh, it's an MK. I used this for years, putting tile in, uh, everywhere. I did a lot of tile work. Uh, this one runs perfect. Uh, uh, you know, table, everything. Uh, you could do like a, uh, a 12 by 12 tile on here. That's about it. Uh, I am putting some plank tile in my kitchen. So I did. I, I did get a very big, a new tile saw that can uh, that can do a, a cut, uh, a 36 inch cut. Uh, so I'm putting a plank tile there. So uh, this has got to go. Anybody interested in a tile saw? Just uh, just shoot me a, a message. Uh, I'm gonna go dig some sheet metal out. This is gonna be the last time I'm digging the sheet metal out from here. It's uh, it's going in a trailer, and like I say, when stuff gets in that trailer, that's gonna be the end of it. Okay, I've had this for sale before. This is a driver's side fender, uh, factory original for a Jeep Wrangler 87 to 95 
That is right from a dealership. Anybody wants a good Fender, a non-aftermarket one, that's a good one for a Wrangler. Again, I've had this for sale many times. New old stock again. Jeepster Commando. Factory part number 972270. This is in absolutely beautiful shape. And again, that is the driver's side. Okay. There goes a new old stock CJ7 tailgate. I don't know if the part number is right there. And this is a factory original. Let's see where that guy came from. Not sure, but. Uh, Never been used, new old stock. Okay guys, one CJ7 hard door, paddle style latches, passenger side. It's in pretty good shape. Vent window is out of it. Uh, glass is in it. And latch, everything works. It's in, it's, it's not rusted out, it's not beat up or anything. Uh, I've got one that style. I've got a pair of early guys. This is before. This is with the lever style handle. And that's what the inside looks like. That's going to be up to uh, 79, 80, 80, 81, something like that. Before they switch to the paddle style. These are in remarkable condition. Vent window and glass is in this one. Vent window and glass is in that one. And there is not any rust at all on these guys. They are in very good shape. Anybody's looking for an early set of hard doors for a CJ7? Uh, I'd like to get these out of here. Um, like I say, if not, when the weather gets a little cooler, I'm going to take all the, uh, the Jeep stuff out of here. I need more room for woodwork and stuff. So uh, just trying to unload this stuff if anybody can use it and uh, support the cause here. That would be fantastic. Okay guys, um, I never got my blacksmith shop off and running and um, I don't know, it's, you know the years are going by and I, I don't know if I'm ever going to get to that. I got so much stuff I don't think I'm going to get to that it's time for a lot of stuff to go. I'm going to show you all my blacksmith stuff. If anybody's interested in a whole package deal, I'd like to get rid of everything at once. Here's a uh, very nice cone with a removable top. Uh, and we're going to go and we're going to look at a bunch of different uh, blacksmith pieces. Some of them you're going to be able to see good. Some of them are kind of tucked away. Very, very good condition cone here. Okay, guys, here is a very large fly press that I've had for a long time. And uh, again, I thought I was going to use all this stuff, but uh, you know, life gets in the way sometimes. So it is a uh, it's a heavy unit, and uh, that's part of the deal there. So uh, that, that's item number two. Okay, guys, there's a, a pretty big alligator shear right there. I know stuff's hard to see. Everything's kind of just a mess. The shop is a disaster. I'm trying to get my life in order here. Very big alligator shear and a rod and bar shear behind it. Uh, I have the original handles for both of them. Uh, the alligator shear is ready to work and the rod and the bar shear works perfect. Uh, nothing wrong with either one of those. Okay guys, what you're looking at is a little giant 100 pound hammer uh, it's completely rebuilt uh, I went through the whole thing uh, this whole section here 
this whole guard here this is all new this is the stuff I made uh, I've got new end joints on it uh, everything has been gone through it's got a brand new motor on it uh, I re I poured Babbitt and I redid the whole main shaft in there you can see I got brand new oilers on top uh, this is a super silky machine it works great I got a new leather clutch in there uh, I've got a good on off here and uh, a switch I made a set of uh, dies for it these are made from solid S7 and they're hardened and um, you know it moves metal extremely quick like I say it is a hundred pound hammer it hits light it hits easy however you uh, control it with your foot again it's part of the deal if anybody is interested and makes a decent offer I can show you it running and stuff it runs absolutely flawlessly and uh, it's ready to put in your shop and use Okay guys, here is my drop hammer. Uh, this again, I sandblasted, painted it. I made new screws here. My buddy Mike made me some new screws to hold your dies. Um, everything is basically ready to go. It, it, it'll lift. I have, a, uh, I have some pillow block bearings. I have a shaft that would go over it with a super slow motor for lifting it and then uh, you just release it and, and boom it comes right down this is a extremely heavy drop hammer um, you know I mean drop hammers come huge you know biggest buildings but this for, for, for this as small as it is it is super heavy this is a, a solid base here um, and, and it's, just, it's just crazy heavy and uh, it, it hits very hard so uh, this part of the deal as well Okay guys, um, I've got a lot of tongs from various uh, old shops, big ones, small ones, you know, some of them are four feet long, some hold massive pieces. Uh, I've got tongs hanging right there, they're going. I've got quite a few just hanging all around here. Uh, you can see different angles, there's, there's tongs on every side of this post here. Those tongs? Yeah, those up there. There's tongs everywhere. Tongs are part of the deal. Anybody needs some tongs or anybody wants a whole... Anybody wants to set up a blacksmith shop in one, in one shot, you know, and get basically everything you're going to need, uh, this, is the, this is where it's going to happen. There's, uh, there's a lot of stuff here. I'm sure there's stuff I'm leaving out, but um, there's a lot of stuff here. If anybody wants to get going, um, you can have all the, all the tools. Okay guys, got a swedge block here. I got one anvil underneath it. I've got another anvil here. I've got a third anvil right here. Got some railroad track. If you want to make your own banging blocks, you know, whatever you want to do. I've got uh, I've got probably a few more anvils hanging around as well. Um, you guys know what anvils are going for these days. You know just these, these damn blocks are bringing big money and stuff. Um, this one is in remarkable condition. There's no chips or, or anything taken out of it. It's a very good block. Okay guys, the damn tarp on this just broke last week. Um, this is a power press. Super, super heavy unit. Um, it works fine. It, uh, I have the legs off of it, but I do have the legs. Um, th this is a, a, a pretty big power press. Uh, once the legs are on it, it's about nine feet tall. And uh, I don't know, I imagine it's over 10,000 pounds. So, uh, again, this is part of the deal as well. Okay, guys, there's the steam engine. Uh, if anybody has it in them to uh, have a steam powered blacksmith shop, run everything off of line shafting and stuff, that engine is perfect. I was going to run it for the sawmill, but um, that's not going to happen. 
Uh, remember the steam engine is for sale if you know anybody would be interested in that steam engine. Uh, if you go through my videos you can see us running it. It is pressure tested, it is ready to go, it just needs, you know, I mean it runs fine as it is. If you wanted to clean it and paint it, you know, that's up to you. But it is a good running engine. And I have some chimney sections for it right there. It's completely piped with super high quality fittings. Uh, valves, everything. I used the best of the best on that to make it safe, and uh, and, and that's ready to go as well. So, um, like I say, I'm just uh, I'm trying to get that building built. I'm trying to do a lot of things at once, and I'm cutting out the things that I know are never going to happen in my lifetime. So uh, now's the time to uh, to jump on this, and uh, I hope somebody can appreciate a, uh, a Farquhar steam engine. Okay guys, what you're looking at is a Burma Jeep front end. Um, yeah, probably all the Burma Jeeps are going uh, as well. Uh, I've got uh, one, two, three parts Burmas. Actually, they're, they're in really good shape uh, as far as parts vehicles go. I've got a single wheel Burma chassis. I have, I do have the Burma Wrecker and that's going to be sold as well. Uh, that's just probably one of the very last original wreckers that have been together since its uh, creation uh, there's a lot of parts and pieces to wreckers but this is this wrecker has been a wrecker since 43 uh, I do have that one it is in a container it's in very nice shape um, I'm gonna finish the Burma Jeep that I have but I don't think I need so many parts vehicles that Burma wrecker uh, if you're a Burma Jeep fan um, I made a video on it a long while ago when I got it. Uh, it's in very nice shape. Um, any Burma Jeep guys out there, uh, reach out to me. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going. Okay, guys. Blacksmith Hammer Assortment. A little bit of everything here. Probably won't ever need another hammer. Keep walking down. You got flatters, you got ball peens, you got specialty hammers. Uh, that one there is a sheet metal hammer. Um, but they just keep going on and on. There's many, many feet of hammers here. And they go all the way down. Down, down, way down there. So, lots of hammers. Um, I guess if nobody wants everything at once or you have any interest in blacksmithing but you don't have a spot, I either need to get rid of the stuff or I need to finish the blacksmith shop. So anybody has any interest in, interest in blacksmith shop, feel free to reach out and let me know if you want to come over and help out. Okay, so all those hammers go with the deal too. There's a lot of stuff here. I need to make space or I need to continue on with buildings to house it all. But uh, I got to get this shop, the wood shop, and some other areas cleaned up and, uh, and working again smoothly. So we're just going to end it here. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff. A lot of Burma Jeep stuff, a lot of Jeep stuff, a lot of blacksmith stuff, a lot of everything. So... Uh, just put a comment below if, uh, if you have any interest in anything. Okay, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.